September 13, 2025, Saturday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup, and today's roundup is brought to you by Mama Nature throwing a temper tantrum in West Texas. We do have the opportunity for scattered to perhaps numerous showers and thunderstorms late this afternoon, this evening, overnight into Sunday morning. Across the Texas Panhandle, West Texas, into parts of the Permian Basin, Trans-Pecos, Guadalupe Mountains, down to the Big Bend and the Borderland, with the highest chance and the highest number of storms in West Texas and the Panhandle. Some storms this evening will probably be strong to severe, with a risk of localized damaging wind gusts over 60 to 70 miles per hour. Perhaps some um, dime to nickel, quarter to half dollar size hail, so around one inch in diameter, and very dangerous cloud to ground lightning, blowing dust, along with locally heavy rainfall that may result in localized flash flooding. This is the flash flood outlook for this evening and overnight, depicting the highest relative risk of flooding uh, along the line west of uh, Dowhart, Dumas, Amarillo, uh, down through. Plainview to near Lubbock, all the way down to near Pecos and eastern New Mexico. But isolated flash flooding is definitely possible across the remainder of the panhandle into west Texas and the Permian Basin as well. Here is the high-resolution rapid refresh model for today and tonight. You can see isolated thunderstorms possible this afternoon. East Texas, southeast Texas, near the Texas Gulf Coast. That's just your typical diurnal pop-ups we see during the summer months. It's not going to be a big deal. The main show is going to be tonight as we see those storms develop in parts of the Panhandle West Texas all the way down to the Big Bend and also a pretty good cluster that will develop across eastern New Mexico. That activity will move east into the Panhandle West Texas this evening bringing the highest chance of rain thunderstorms and perhaps some localized flash flooding here's a zoomed in look at that activity off the her you can see increasing coverage after 6 to 7 p.m that activity moves west to east weakening after 11 p.m to midnight as it progresses into the eastern panhandle areas just east of lubbock and into the permian basin even down into the trans pecos again all storms will produce danger cloud to ground lightning Locally heavy rainfall, we're probably going to see some gusty winds and maybe a bit of hail as well. The overall severe weather risk, while low, is not zero. Here's a look at that same model depicting possible rain totals through the overnight. You can see most folks were looking at rain totals below about one inch, so not crazy. Localized corridors of maybe one to two, maybe even three inch rain totals possible. And again, if that all falls in the span of an hour, that will result in sporadic flash flooding and some pretty quick rises on creeks and streams. We'll be keeping an eye on things here at the Texas Storm Chasers. You can do the same. Free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app.